So we looked at the uh, proportion of the face, and today I've introduced you to Louis Ferreira, who did prismic uh, sketches of hands and faces. So we're going to focus today on um, that technique, and start off by just drawing a face. You can draw from one of hers if you want to, or you can draw from one of your own faces. Um, just getting the basic proportions. So start off actually with the outline, although that is not going to be the focus later on. So I'm doing my face here just slightly in proportion, uh, sorry, in profile. So slightly from the side, that is, not a frontal view. Okay, and we know by now, all of you, that the eyes are roughly halfway down the face. So I'm just going to sketch those in. Um, nose halfway between the eyes and the um, chin. And then halfway, roughly, between the nose and the chin, we have the lips. Okay, so we got it just roughly sketched in. Now, like I said, we're doing the uh, prismic. Um, so it's the idea of the colour being fractured out and fragmented uh, rather than being exactly as it is in real life. So what I'm going to do now is put the um, sections in. So I'm going to create a fragment of colour here. And you'll notice with Ferreira's uh, style is she uses these um, lines going in direction as well to exaggerate the shape of the fragments of colour. Um, so I'm going to just draw those in. These will come off at a slightly different angle. Okay, and then I'm going to put them shorter over here to give it a bit of variety. And then some even closer together to give it a denser kind of sense of shadow going around there. Okay. Now I'm going to get a different colour because we separate it out. I'm going to do a fragment of colour coming down like this underneath the cheekbone. And again, once I've decided on the outline shape, I'm going to use this artist's style of doing these kind of linear, very sharp lines going across like that. To get a balance, um, you might want to repeat some of the colours. So I'm using uh, four main colours. I'm going to use red, blue, green and orange. Um, just because if you repeat some of the colours, it does give it a sense of balance. So I'm going to put a bit over here as well. Uh, maybe some underneath the eyes. Maybe the shadow seems to have been captured. Um, and maybe the top lip. Okay, so colour pencil or pen, it's up to you. It's one of the things you really you do need colour for. You're not going to be able to do this just with black and white um, because that's not going to capture the essence of this artist's work. So I'm sure you can find some colours at home to work with, even if it's just, you know, a blue pen, a black pen, and maybe a red pen, you know, a biro pen. That's fine. And it's going to take a bit of time just to build up these layers of almost abstract. I mean, it's not abstract because we can see the face, but it's, um, it's focusing more on the shapes and lines as opposed to the actual features of the face. I'm going to do a whole shape going right down the side, um, emphasizing the background. So that becomes an important part of the picture. Um, and again, over here, There's lots of artists that I'll talk about in the lesson that do this um, prismatic sketching. It's become a bit of a craze. Um, lots of people have got you know, some fantastic examples, and I'll show you others in the lesson. And this is going back years as well. Sometimes popular art forms, when you look back in history, maybe somebody else has done it in a different, interesting way. So it's good to look at contemporary art and art from the past and look for links. So we'll look at some of those. But this is one who's really made a name for himself in developing these really interesting ways of doing portraits. And perfect opportunity for you. You're all very confident now. You should be feeling confident with doing portraits because you've done some fantastic work. Now we're going to look at different styles that artists can use. So you can see the more I build it up, um, the stronger hopefully you're seeing it's becoming. I'm just pinching, stealing, being inspired by the technique of this artist. Okay, now one thing I'd say though, big bit of advice, is don't be tempted to fully finish one area. 
because actually if you give a bit of self a bit of space and time sometimes you can think of a better way to do it and also I think it gives a better balance and overall harmony to the picture if you get these fragments of colour um, and move them across the page. My art teacher, Mr. Freeborn, used to say almost like you're dancing across the page with your coloured pencil or your paintbrush. Don't just finish one area. Keep working over the page and come back. It might mean that you have to, you know, turn the paper around to do that. So you're working on it sideways. Okay, now I'm going to finish in a minute and leave you time to get on. Let me just hold that up to the camera so you can see. Now hopefully you can see that's beginning to look like it's in the style of, not just copying her work, but in the style of uh, the artist Louis Ferreira. There you go. Okay, look forward to seeing what you do and remember don't forget to send your work in. Have a good lesson.